Hello, gang, 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 pen black period. It's Lala Kose. I just wanted to let you guys know that this vlog is going to be an therapy vlog. Hi, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lala Kose. Mary Mokose. If you're new here, if you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscription button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, gang, 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 pen black period. Okay. I'm just here to say, Ding Shavas on Georgia. If you're wondering, this dress that I'm wearing is from Fushini. Let me try and zoom out and see. Okay, so I think if I stay here, this dress is from Fushini, and these shoes are from Small Street. So that is my outfit for today. Oh, my okay, and that's on period. Oh mama, okay. Huh, huh, huh? Okay, let's go do our pedicure. That is paid by my boyfriend. And we're gonna have some cocktail. That is paid by my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, highly recommend Umjolo. But anyways, let's go. I'm not gonna do my hands because um the last time I did my nails was uh, uh, my birthday and my nails were really damaged. And if I'm gonna do my nails now. I have to do them mid this month again because I'm um, need to win some friends, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, the third week or something like that. So I can't do my nails twice in a month, where well, else I know how damaged they were. Because I'm gonna do my nails, I think I'm gonna do my nails mid November, and I'm also gonna do them mid December. So I'm not up for that. And my nails are too short for gel. If you know what I can do or whatever. Let me know in the comment section, okay? Period. So, let's go. Okay, as I said in the beginning of this vlog, um, it's going to be a, a therapy vlog where I'll be talking through the vlog, right? I did go to do my nails. I went out with my man. Um, I met up with my friends. I did a lot of things. You'll be seeing them as the vlog goes on right so the reason why i decided to do a therapy vlog was because um wow this year has been a lot and it has been ups and downs and bendigo wisha i do not want to lie and right now i'm at a stage where i just felt like i cannot vlog anymore i didn't like i don't I, I don't feel it anymore as i used to not that i'm leaving youtube or anything like that it's just the fact that i'm just going through a lot right for those who don't know i lost my mom last year so this year my mom like passed like it turned a year we like she passed away right great stuff so i went through my grieving my mourning whatever you know it started off as i was angry i was bitter i was in denial and then it became i uh, know it started with in denial angry bitter and then i became depressed just after my breakup which was post my birthday or during my birthday, some day, Bendigo, I was depressed. I was staying at home. I didn't want to do shit, right? And I said, no, man, you, 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 you need to come back. You need to come back. We can't do this. This is off-brand, right? Great stuff. I decided to go to, you know what? Um, let me let me get back. Let, 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 me, let me force myself to go out. Let me go home. Let me go to my mother's grave. Let me see if, like, I can wake up again, you know? Um... And um, if we recap back to my relationship, I was very in love with that guy. And how the relationship ended, it just like, it was like, at first I, was, I thought it was a joke, but then it hit me good to, whoa, the relationship is really over, right? And I'm glad I went through that. And one thing that I picked up this year was that when you're in a relationship, just stick through it, go through the breakup. Like, just stay in that relationship until you don't want to stay anymore. Which is one thing that I have learned this year. Because I'm one person who usually always is forever going back to their exes, right? <laughs> I was always that girl. I was like, oh, psh, ex, booyah, babe, let's, let's try again, you know what? But, like, this year, when I was in that relationship, which I started dating the guy last year, I decided that even where there was like red flags blah 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 whatever i 
just like okay let's let's give it a, a let's give it a try again let's see if this can work i think i mean you can work around it you know and all of that and all of that until you realize that you know what all those things that you've been ignoring or letting it slide or giving second chances those were most of the reasons why we broke up and i was like okay anyways i took my l i was like deuces i'm out of here right great stuff then went through my depression blah 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 it was tough and then I went through financial difficulties this year. I don't even know how I achieved the things that I did or not even achieve things that I paid off this year. I'm still like, even if I do my calculations, I'm like, it ain't making sense. One plus one is not two, which is, which made me realize that really, really indeed God is present and God is with me, you know, as much as sometimes I might feel like, Oh God, this, this happened to me you're not here blah 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 but he keeps on showing up he keeps on like like helping me where i need help because let me tell you my financial life right now it's a mess because i have like a lot of responsibilities a lot of things on my table like after my mom's passing oh my god like even last year this time i was like literally a zombie working but i'm so grateful that you know what um i am where i am like right now I went through the depression, I went home, I went to my mom's grave, I spoke to her, it was my dad's birthday, we did a little celebration and all of those things, and then I came back and then I started picking up and blah, 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 and then, um, yeah, I started dating someone, but that person, we, yeah, we started dating, like, I'm in a relationship now, I'm in a happy place, I mean, the relationship that I'm in now, it's giving me what is it giving me (laughs) it's giving me happy it's giving me liberated it's giving me like to be more in control of my emotion it's giving me to see things for what they are it's giving me to allow the guy that i'm with in a relationship to lead me to where we going because i'm always the person who's i over love I'm, I'm a lover i love doing things for people i'm always like upfront with a lot of things but this time i was like you know what i don't want to be hands-on in this relationship i just want this guy to lead me tell me where we're going are we going left are we going right i'm just following you and it has been the best decision i've made for myself i'm not gonna say that oh i found the one and blah 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 and blah 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 if it works out great if it doesn't then I'll go out and look for another person, right? And that's what I was like. It's so funny because I was talking to my cousin today where we spoke about one of my exes who, like, I don't know, like, when this um, end of November, all of my exes were coming back to me and I was like, no, 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 Andini Funi, like, all of you guys, like, I'm over you guys. I, I don't want you guys. I don't want to try it. I'm in a relationship and I'm happy with this person. He gives me, I have peace of mind. I never, ever stress about what is he doing? What's this? That, 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 that. You know, I'm not always calculating because when I really, I am naturally, I'm an overthinker, right? Okay, enough about that. <laughs> and okay, enough about that. Um, I'm so happy that I reached one of my goals, which was to have a certain amount in my stock portfolio. It's a very small amount, but for me, it's a big deal. I achieved that. My saving goal, I didn't achieve it. I managed to register a company, which is great. Um... So yeah, man, I'm just happy and glad that um, I'm in a good place now. And right now, my peace is my priority. That is why I am I'm taking the decision to step back. Because I feel like, I felt like my channel was not giving what it's supposed to give. Not It's not giving, but in... I want to teach something. I want, when you watch my vlog or my videos or whatever, learn something from that. And I feel like I've been focusing so much on on vlogs, trying to get content, trying to do this, that, 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 that I missed the point whereby you watch an entire vlog and we didn't even talk, you know? I want us to have a discussion, talk about it. Like, tell me your views, let me tell my views because as much as I have went through whatever I've went through, yes, I can teach whatever i can teach but i also am in a journey where else i'm still a work in progress um i can learn one thing or two i might say this and tomorrow be like no i don't agree with that and blah 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 so i just want this channel to be a learning curve for all of us and also um i'm I'm not going to be leaving vlogs but 
yeah this is going to be my last vlog for 2021 or even my last video but next year i'm gonna be having vlogs there and there it's not going to be the main purpose of the main purpose the main thing of the of my channel there's gonna be a lot of sit downs there's gonna be a lot of um, beauty content there's gonna be a lot of motivational content there's gonna be a lot of talking like next year we're gonna be talking i don't know if you guys are gonna like it but you can comment down below if you would really 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 enjoy the vlogs because when i look at the stats i'm like is it really worth it you know because it's another thing to put something so great and feel like at least half of the people come on let, let's show up you know but it's fine i'm doing this because i enjoy it and i love it and i'm sending all of you guys love and peace and please don't put too much pressure on yourself because you know what this year one thing that i've learned is to be patient and not impatient because there's a lot of things that i wanted to tick off but i couldn't tick it off because of situations um things that i needed to do and things that were on my lap like the things that i you know you know what i mean so i i was i, I just learned to be patient and i was like you know what at least i could take one two three the rest we'll see them next year i mean we'll see them in 2022 and 2022 is all about money it's all about creating content it's all about enjoyment now nah, enjoyment and one thing that i learned is even if you're going through a hard time right learn to speak speak about it because speaking about it helps you a lot because it off offloads a lot of things and one thing that i learned is that um some things some things are just not meant to be don't be scared when you are changing or revolving or whatever the case might be don't be scared for change like don't be scared to change don't be scared to be uncomfortable like just go with it it's part of the path that god has created for you god is doing something great in your life and just trust him because that's one thing that I'm, I'm i'm trusting god i'm not trying to be in charge of my life anymore not wanting to control how things are gonna go like we're going left we're going right no god will dictate that's one of the things that i'm i'm putting god in charge of my life i'm 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 no longer trying to be in charge of everything because you know when you're trying to be in charge of everything when you're trying to be in charge of everything everything doesn't work the way you think it will work and you end up being a very disappointed <laughs> Oh my god, I've been editing this vlog for such a long time and it has not been coming together. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little clips that I managed to put together. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in 2022 while we'll be doing big things. Love you. Bye.